All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching ReZero Season 2, Episode 24, the semi-season finale. Holy crap, was the episode, the last episode, super amazing. It was an actual movie. It was so exciting to watch and so many things dropped. Whew, it was insane. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this season is going to end now. I'm nervous, but excited, but I'm scared and so many emotions. But yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get into the episode right now. Everyone still out here? Do they think she made it? Oh, it was Puck then. Okay. Ooh, shit, let's go. Okay. Bro, is it not freezing as shit out there right now? You guys, you do not look cold at all. Oh shit, son. What is going to happen in this episode? Oh no, what has happened to Ram? Oh, Ram. Amelia has already completed her trial. Oh, crap. Damn, so he's really the most skilled magician? I thought he was about to lose it there, bro. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to depend on the book, but he can't, right? Is he healing her? Can he still save her? Bro, he's really lost all guidance, man, jeez. Oh, I thought this is where they wear them. Then what is this? Oh, God. So is this what's going to attract the white rabbit, I think? Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Hello. All right. So this happened. What we just saw with Puck happened a little bit back then, I guess. ReZero doesn't half confuse me sometimes. But it's okay. Because it's a good story. <laughs> For fucking real. You can say that again. God damn. I can't wait till she meets up with everyone again. I just want them all to be back together. Hey, yo! <laughs> fucking Frozone over here. Let's go. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Oh, good. She's still alive. Jesus Christ. Damn, Amelia. Amelia has really been through all of this shit. She's seen her tragic past. And this present and now the whew, most likely tragic future that could come to pass and like she's still busting out man she's she's putting her absolute all into this and she's still trucking on like shout out amelia bro she's really come through with all of this and now she's doing this like clap clap fucking well done bro roswell looks dead inside bro oh here come the rabbits oh shit these fucking things. I hate them, man. Let's go, Amelia. Nah, so this is the person that's supposed to come for her. There's definitely not Subaru, right? So who is it? Or is it Subaru? Is Subaru capable capable of inheriting all this knowledge? Bro, it looks fucking... Not good. <laughs> oh. Right, okay. Damn, look at all the Roswells. And Beatrice such NPC number one. <laughs> Beatrice has such a deep and emotional part in this story from the very beginning, man. And it just wasn't even properly touched upon until season two, definitely. So crazy, man. How she re she really started off as NPC number one. And now we're here seeing all of this from the very beginning from her point of view is so wild. I'm really curious as to who this person is gonna be. God, Beatrice, man. Garth's okay, and... But her dedicate is okay, but where's Elsa? Everyone else is getting out okay, it looks like. <laughs> Come on, Subaru, save her. Oh, fuck, man, this situation is hard. Come on, Subaru. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, this music's really getting to me. What the hell? Where is she gone? Come on, Subaru. How do you find her then? If you open this door, it's going to explode. That's probably going to be red heart as well. Please be behind this door. Yeah, because you're going to die if you open this and it's not her library. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, shit. That was a fucking leap of faith, bro. Holy crap. God, this episode feels like a movie too. 
<laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry, bro. I wanted to say something, but I don't want to ruin the flow of things right now, so I'm gonna leave it till after the episode. Oof, that is that is brutal for immortals, man. You'd think in this situation Beatrice was the main girl, bro. God damn. I'm Natsuki Subaru, bro. Oh. Please, please, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. I'm done. My eyes are wet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why is everybody hit out there? Wow. <laughs> Get these fucking white rabbit, bro. <laughs> Just get them. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Subaru is such a legend, bro. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a fucking awesome episode. Bro, I'm dead ass in tears right now. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good episode. That was even better than the last. Oh. What I wanted to say, um, but I didn't want to ruin the flow of things, was that um, the character development for the characters in this show is astounding. This show is a masterpiece. If anybody in season one gave up on the show for how Subaru acted, then you have absolutely played yourself because he is just such a well-written character. It's actually unreal. Like, I just can't get over it, how good the show is. I'm so glad I've, I've been with the show for as long as I have. And I'm so glad, I, I'm just so glad I've been a part of it. It's such an amazing show. But yeah, um, this is the semi-season finale, I believe. Next week we have the season finale. And if it's anything like the last two episodes, I'm going to... I'm going to be emotional. This was one of the best episodes of ReZero I've ever seen, I think. And I am very much looking forward to the next. So, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And peace out.